Unit 4 Blooms and Breeze Curtain Racer Look at the pictures. What do you see? We can see two houses in this picture. Are these houses similar? How? Yes. They are similar because they protect us. Where do you find such houses? We can find such houses in snowy area and floody areas. Why do people make such houses? People make such houses to protect themselves. What are such houses called? Such houses are called as a dwelling place. The land of the winds. Dorothy, a little girl, lived in a small wooden house with her uncle and aunt. Her house was in the middle of a meadow. The wind never stopped blowing there. When the wind blew hard, Dorothy's family would take shelter in the cellar of their house. On a cloudy day, Dorothy was playing with her pet dog, Toto. A storm is on its way. Dorothy, run to the cellar. Be quick. Her uncle cried out. He ran towards the cellar. Aunt followed him. Dorothy stopped playing. Come with me, Toto, she called out. In this page, we can see a small girl named Dorothy who lived with her uncle and aunt in a small wooden house. They lived in a place where the wind always blew. Whenever the wind blew hard, they used to take shelter in a cellar. One day, Dorothy was playing with her dog. Suddenly, her uncle cried out, telling her to take shelter in the cellar because a storm was coming their way. She stopped playing and took Toto with her. Now, Let's answer the questions given below. Why do people make cellars? People make cellars to protect themselves. Will Dorothy reach the cellar? No, she will not reach the cellar. The storm. Dorothy ran towards the cellar. But Toto ran to the house and hid under a cot. Toto, Toto, she searched for him in the house. Toto, come out. Dorothy yelled out. The howling wind swept her voice away. Woo, woo, woo. The wind was getting stronger. The trees toppled over. The house began to shake. The cups and plates in the cupboard slipped down. The mirror on the wall fell down and broke into pieces. What's happening to our house? Dorothy was frightened. In this page, we can see Dorothy ran towards the cellar, but Toto ran inside the house and hid under the cot. Dorothy tried to call him, but her sound was swept away by the wind. The wind got stronger. The trees toppled over. The house was shaking 
and plates and cups fell down. The mirror on the wall fell and broke into pieces. Seeing these things, Dorothy was frightened. Now, let's answer the questions given below. What happened when the wind blew? When the wind blew, the trees toppled over and the house started shaking. What will happen to the house? The house will be taken away by the wind. The flying house. The storm roared. Creak. It lifted the house off the ground. Dorothy and Toto could not run out of the house. Oh my God! A house is flying! Dorothy looked out. She saw fallen trees and broken bridges below. Toto became afraid. He started running here and there inside the house. We are in danger, dear. Dorothy held Toto in her arms. The wind lifted the house higher and higher. Over the fallen trees, over the market, over the stream, over the mountains. Dorothy trembled with fear. She couldn't even cry. She could only see the sky and the dark clouds. She closed her eyes. In this page, we can see the storm took the house with it. Dorothy and Toto could not run out of the house. Dorothy looked out through the window. She saw fallen trees and broken bridges. Toto became afraid and started running around the house. Dorothy held Toto in her arms. The wind lifted the house higher and higher. They could see the fallen trees, market, stream and the mountains. Dorothy trembled with fear. She couldn't even cry. She just closed her eyes. Now let's answer the question given below. What did Dorothy see from the flying house? Dorothy saw fallen trees, broken bridges and the dark clouds. If you were Dorothy, what would you do? I would have closed my eyes and waited in a corner. What will happen to Dorothy and Toto? They would land somewhere safe. In a strange land. Thud. The house landed somewhere. Dorothy opened her eyes. She looked out. Oh, the storm has gone. She came out with Toto. The air was filled with the fragrance of flowers. Birds chirped. Where are we now? She wondered. Toto sniffed around. He looked at Dorothy puzzled. Dorothy saw some strange people coming towards them. They were smaller than Dorothy, but bigger than Toto. They wore hats with tiny bells. Toto barked at them. Come down, Toto. Dorothy patted him. Hi, little girl. We are Mumskins. Welcome to our land. We are so happy today. You saved us, they said. Dorothy was confused. In this page, we can see the house have landed somewhere. Dorothy opened her eyes and looked out. The storm was gone. 
Dorothy and Toto came out of the house. The air was filled with fragrance of flowers. Birds chirped. She saw some strange people coming towards them. They were shorter than Dorothy and taller than Toto. They wore hats with bells. Toto barked at them. They came forward and introduced them as the Munchkins. They welcomed Dorothy to their land and thanked her for saving them. Dorothy was very confused. Now, let's answer to the question given below. Why was Dorothy confused? Dorothy was confused because the Munchkins was thanking her. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more updates.